Good morning. It is Friday, September 27th, and welcome to this episode of Tiger Vision News. I'm Hannah. And I'm Crystal. And, and TVN, TVN starts, starts right, right now. Congratulations to September's High School Seniors of the Month, Courtney Hill and Tegan Thornbrew. FCA and Teens for Christ will be meeting in the old gym at lunch today. Please bring your lunch and join us. Now if you'll please join us for a moment of silence. Would you please stand for our Pledge of Allegiance to the American flag? Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This broadcast is brought to you by Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory, Keith's Hardware and Supply, Renfro Electric, Fort Gibson Education Foundation, InfoMedia, the Tiger's Den, La Isla Mexican Restaurant, Scott Abbott with Muskogee County Farm Bureau, and Green Country Lanes and Muskogee Skate Center. The homecoming parade will be this afternoon at 1 o'clock. Students participating in the parade will need to eat lunch quickly and then report to their float. Students will be dismissed by intercom to watch the parade. After the parade, high school students will sit in the lower bleachers during the homecoming assembly in the new gym. Juniors and seniors will sit on the home side, while freshmen and sophomores will sit on the visitor's side. The coronation for our homecoming queen will be start at 6.15 this evening before the game. Hey Hannah, have you noticed the new circle drive? I have, and it looks nice. Blake had the opportunity to visit with Mr. Farmer about it. Blake? Fort Gibson High School has renovated the circle drive, leading to the administration building, lunchroom, high school, and middle school. Everyone needs to remember this is a, a multi-phase multi project. Uh, this was just phase one. Our ultimate goal is to manage traffic during the school day. There will be a circle drive option out in front of the administration building uh, where there's no reason to be driving during passing periods or during lunch over where our kids um, access multiple buildings. So I've had a lot of questions and we've, we've come up with a lot of good stories on what we can do with the, the big concrete block out there. But the reality is we have a, our logo ordered. Uh, it's being fab fabricated at a metal shop right now and being powder coated. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a nice uh, FTG right in the middle of the concrete and it will be lit up at night. So when you drive on campus at night, it will be illuminated and uh, be another point of pride in our campus. So it will take a couple years to get there, but phase one is now complete and we're proud of the progress. Hopefully by the end of construction, the Circle Drive accomplishes what the Fort Gibson administration is wanting it to accomplish. This has been Blake Hammock reporting for Tiger Vision News. Our new driveway has made it so much easier to get in and out. Yes, it has. I wonder if this weather will be cooling off anytime soon. It is officially fall, you know. Yes, and it is crazy that it's still so hot at the end of September. Let's go to the Casey to see if any fall weather is in sight. like summer may be holding on for just a few more days. Today will be partly cloudy with a slight chance of rain and highs in the low 90s. This weekend will be cloudy with a chance for storms on Saturday and highs in the mid 80s. The beginning of next week will be a little cloudy with highs in the upper 80s but we may see some fall temperatures by the end of next week. We would like to thank Channel 6 for this week's weather graphic and now a word from one of our sponsors. Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory wish to personally invite you and your family to come tour the newest funeral home and the only crematory in Muskogee. Cornerstone welcomes the opportunity to answer any questions regarding planning and pre-arrangements for you and your loved ones. At Cornerstone, you'll find a helpful professional staff and beautiful surroundings. Come experience the difference at Cornerstone Funeral Home, 1830 North York, Muskogee, where you will find faces you know and reputations you trust. If you are an NHS member, the deadline to pay your $10 fees are due October 1st. 
please pay Mrs. Keeling, Mrs. West, or Kiara Miller. Those who do not pay by October 1st will receive a warning. Now let's go to Braden with our Tiger Sports. Hey Tigers, last Friday our Tiger football team played the Wagner Bulldogs at Wagner and lost 49-7. Our Tigers, will ha our Tigers have had a rough start this season, but we are hoping to change all of that at homecoming tonight as we go up against the Stillwell Indians. The homecoming coronation ceremony will begin at 6.15 and the game will kick off at 7 p.m. If you can't come to watch the ceremony or the game, you can always watch it live on FortGibsonTigers.tv. Our fast pitch lady softball team played Coweta on Monday and won with a final score of 3-1 and also played Shakota Tuesday but lost 8-3. Weather permitting, our Lady Tigers will travel to NSU in Ta Tahlequah this afternoon to compete in the NSU softball tournament. Good luck, ladies. Our bowling team is gearing up for the this season, and, we'll and practices will begin Monday, October 7th, and each Monday and Thursday from 4.30 to 6 p.m. at Green Country Lanes in Muskogee. The team is open to any high school student, and there is no cost to compete. If you are interested, see Max or Mr. Wicks for more details. And as always, come out and support our, your lady tigers and tigers. And now a word from one of our sponsors. If you're looking for some local entertainment, look no further than Green Country Lanes, located on South York Street in Muskogee, a prime place for open bowling, birthday parties, and glow bowling. Come on out to Green Country Lanes, where bowling is a sport for those who have talent to spare. Parent-teacher conferences will be on Monday, September 30th, from 3 to 7, for the middle school and the high school. There will be no classes next Friday, October 4th, for our teachers and staff to have a professional development day. Thank you for watching this week's episode of TVN. I'm Hannah. And I'm Crystal. Tune, Tune in next week for more Tiger Vision News. news.